a good childhood. Um, <laughs> it's 2015, I'm feeling good, it's 2015. This year, I just wanna shine bright like a diamond this year. <laughs> It's all I want, but I feel, I feel, I'm in a weird year. I just got out of a long-term relish. Thanks, thanks for your sympathy. I no, it was a, a really like a five-year relish. I was in a long-term, I was engaged. I was gonna get married. Um, thank you, finally, somebody gives a shit. But I feel like the first sign that you're not mature enough to get married is your abbreviating relationship to relish. But we broke up in December. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I find my parents are really worried about me. My parents, Wendy and James, give it up for Wendy and James, guys. They're, they're the best, guys. But they're really, I visited them. I'm from Toronto, but I live in England, and I visited them on the way here. They're extremely concerned. My mom is always worried anyway. Like, the, like her, that's just her state of mind. Like, the sentence, for real, that she says more than any other sentence in the English language is just, oh my God. That's her level of stress for everything. Oh my God. <laughs> like that's, I'm constantly on the phone to her in England and she's like, how's the weather in London? And I'm like, oh, it's fine actually, it's, kind of, it's pretty nice. It's a bit muggy. Oh my God. <laughs> You're gonna get spores in your lungs. That's what, that's what she thinks. She's very worried about me being uh, single. She's very concerned. And I was engaged to a woman. You'll be shocked to hear. <laughs> But she very sneakily, my mom, last time I visited, she broached the subject and she was like, we're very, we're all very sad, but have, have you thought about switching it up? <laughs> she was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, first of all, sneaky, Wendy, but also like, sure, yeah, like I do, I really like men. I've dated an eclectic group of very lucky men. I went out with this guy when I was 13 called Ian Peach. Do you guys know Ian Peach? She, wait, seriously? Wait, you do? Yeah, from Toronto. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> my stomach just fell out through my vagina from, from fear. Oh my God, we'll talk later. When I was about 13, we went out for six months. Um, I think we only hung out like twice. Uh, but we were in love and... Um, <laughs> Ian Peach, he broke up with me on speakerphone while all of his friends listened and they were all laughing. Thank you, 90% of you were like, yeah, fine, that's, that seems normal, that's how we break up with people. No, it was the harshest breakup. And he was playing our song over speakerphone. He was playing, he, he like got a CD player and was playing our song, which was Aerosmith's Don't Wanna Miss a Thing. That was our song because we slow danced to it at a party and he got a semi. <laughs> So that was our song, and um, <laughs> that, I'm very proud of that fact. Um, and he was like, look, I don't think we should see each other anymore. And then I hear these peals of laughter, and I realized like, his whole class was listening. I'm over it now. You can tell him I'm over it. <laughs> like, I never even talk about it publicly. <laughs> but um, I was doing a, an interview in England for, for a magazine, and the structure of the interview was 10 rapid-fire questions, and they were like, it's gonna be fun, it's word association, just say the first thing that comes into your mind. And so we're going through the things, and it's easy stuff like, um, what's your favorite thing about England? Who's your favorite Spice Girl, rapid fire? And we get to the final question, they're like, last question, rapid fire, why are you gay? As a, as a rapid fire question, guys. And I was like, uh, I was like, uh, well, just like that. Panicking, and uh, I think if I'd had any time to think about it, I would have gone away and come up with something vaguely progressive. Like, I think labels can be divisive, and I don't feel the need to identify as anything other than a human being. But I, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, but, but I panicked. <laughs> and I said, maybe Ian Peach in grade nine. It was the first thing that came to my mind was his face. And the worst part is, I wish I'd written this. You can Google the interview. I'm on record now for the rest of my life as saying, in answer to the question, why are you gay? They've quoted me, they've misquoted me, and they've put, maybe eating a peach in grade nine. <laughs> it's the worst misquote of all time. It's the absolute worst. And then the, the worst part is that my mom, Wendy, has a Google alert set up. You know, you can, you can set up on Google an alert where if keywords come up, you get an email. So my mom has one set up with my name. So Wendy got an email with that interview and then I got a phone call like, oh my God. 
she was, she's like, is it true? She was like, I don't understand. We gave your brother the same peaches. <laughs> um, you guys have been so nice. I've been May Martin. Have